In this video, we've got part A, show that 1 over r squared take away 1 over r plus 1 squared is equal to 2r plus 1 over r squared r plus 1 squared. So this is just going to be combining those two fractions together. Okay, So 1 over r squared take away 1 over r plus 1 squared. So a bit of cross multiplication is equal to r plus 1 squared. So multiplying this top and bottom by r plus 1 squared. And then we've got take away, uh, multiply this one top and bottom by r squared. So take away r squared over r squared, r plus 1 squared. So now they've got the common denominator. We've got r plus 1 squared, take away r squared over r squared, r plus 1 squared. Multiplying out the numerator, we get r squared plus 2r plus 1, take away r squared over r squared, r plus 1 squared. The r squareds cancel, and so we're left with 2r plus 1 over r squared, r plus 1 squared. So that's my answer to part A. So part B, hence find the sum of the first n terms of the series uh, 3 over 1 squared plus times 2 squared plus 5 over 2 squared times 3 squared plus 7 over 3 squared times 4 squared plus etc. OK, so... Uh, you'll notice that these numbers that we've got here, okay, very similar structure to what you've got there. In fact, this is when r is 1, this is when r is 2, this is when r is 3, etc. So this series is the same as the sum from r is 1 to n of 2r plus 1 over r squared, r plus 1 squared. Okay, so it's precisely that. So we have shown in part A that we can rewrite this fraction in this form. So 1 over r squared take away 1 over r plus 1 squared. Okay. So instead of like in the previous video where we started out with that and we had to go through uh, partial fractions to get to that, instead we've just done it the opposite way around showing that that is the same as that and then we're going to use that result. So what we can now do is we can stop substituting in r is 1, etc. r is 2, r is 3. So we'll put in r is 1 first. We get 1 over 1 squared. Take away 1 over 2 squared. OK. Right, let's substitute in r is 2. So we get 1 over 2 squared. Take away 1 over 3 squared. And then substitute in r is 3. We're going to get 1 over 3 squared, take away 1 over 4 squared, etc. OK, so plus. Right, substituting in uh, n minus 2, we're going to get 1 over n minus 2 squared, uh, take away 1 over n um, minus 1 squared. Sorry, I thought I was going to cube it then for some reason. Plus 1 over n minus 1 squared plus 1 over n squared, plus, oh sorry, take away, take away, 1 over n squared, take away 1 over n plus 1 squared. So this is where the cancellations come in. So we can see that there's a cancellation there, so they're going to cancel, and these two terms will cancel, and that will get cancelled, and so will that one, and so will those two there, and so will those two there, and I'm just going to be left with that one and that one. So I've got equals uh, 1 over 1, take away 1 over n plus 1 squared. So let's just write that as 1. Okay, so we've got 1, right there, 1 take away 1 over n plus 1 squared. Okay, so uh, let's simplify that, shall we? So that's n plus 1 squared over n plus 1 squared take away 1 over n plus 1 squared. So that's n squared plus 2n plus 1, take away 1 in the numerator over n plus 1 squared. So n squared plus 2n over n plus 1 squared. So n lots of n plus 2 over n plus 1 squared. OK. So it's nice to get it into that kind of format. Uh, sometimes the exam question will require that 
Um, sometimes maybe not, but it's always useful to s try and simplify your fraction.